Hey guys, this is Donnie from Santa Goats Rescue, my brother Connor from Bigfoot Anon on YouTube. We're here today to check out an area on the Chipola River that Connor's going to show me. I haven't been to yet, but we're going to go uh, check it out and we're going to bring you guys along with us. I was wanting to share something with you and I was telling Connor about it. Um, I haven't told him what happened, but I seen something on the way here. I was on my motorcycle and it was something I've seen before, but I've never seen while driving. And when I first seen it, I thought I seen a goat man with his back turned to me. And when I did a second take and looked back at it, I realized what it was. There was a deer uh, about 70 to 80 feet off of the road near, you could find a creek on Highway 20, and he was on his back legs eating leaves off a tree, yet he was upright, vertical. And when I seen him from the back, immediately I thought I, I was looking at a goat man. And when I looked back, he dropped back down to four and then he hopped back up again and I realized I was looking at a deer. And I know 90% of you that have seen the goat man creature before, I know without a doubt y'all absolutely seen that, but that could be uh, an explanation to some of the sightings that uh, some people have seen and they just didn't get a clear visual. It could have been that. I highly doubt that's what it was, but it's just uh, as soon as I seen it, that's what I thought it was. And when, when I got a second view at it, um, it was obvious it was definitely a deer eating leaves. But anyway, we got Brother Connor here with us, and we are fixing to head out. And if you guys are not part of Connor's family on YouTube, jump over there, check out Bigfoot Anon, subscribe, um, like, and share his videos, and just help support him. He's got some books out. I'm going to be posting his books on the community tab on my channel i didn't have time to do it yesterday but it will be done and if you guys are interested and want to pick up some of his books you can jump over there and get the information and go get them and that that'll help support him also thank you guys very much god bless you hang loose and we're fixing to get this show on the road all right guys we just arrived at a cave and this is my first trip here his brother Connor, Bigfoot Anonymous, right there in front of me. Yes, this is one of my favorite spots, guys. I've came down here and read chapters of my books. We've done meditations, and I've interviewed a couple of my buddies here about uh, fairies and gremlins. And this is uh, this goes back towards before Christ. And Dale Cox from Two Egg TV, he did a couple good articles. Florida Trailblazer on YouTube has came here about eight years ago. Uh, so this place has a lot of history and there's been tons of pottery and uh, arrowheads discovered and excavated down here. Digging is illegal, so we have to keep it as safe as possible. And of course, that's what we're coming to do is just pay our respects. But it's a beautiful place that opens up very wide down here. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to walk around and show you guys a close-up of it. Um, it's a lot of limestone. You can see the little shells embedded in it. A bunch of fossils. This is really pretty in here. And it's pretty large. You know, I had a, received some comments a while back from a, a fellow that um, he was, I think he was trying to debunk my encounter in Mariana. Someone stated that uh, those creatures, the Sasquatch, the Bigfoot, could be living in caves. And he stated his fact that Florida is flat and there are no caves. And, well, guys, we are in Florida. We are in the Panhandle, Mariana area. And if this is not a cave, then I, just, I don't know what to call it. He was halfway right though. Florida is flat. That is definite. Yep, absolutely. Man, this is beautiful. Yeah, there was actually an attack back in the ancient days and a lot of the arrowheads that were found, uh, Dale Cox said that were constructed while defending themselves to forces outside the caves. And I know a lot of people spent the night out here and heard apparitions and strange sounds and just just being underground in Florida, yes, it raises some vibrations, 100%. Yep, absolutely. And this, 
there is a, a, a really strange feeling you get in here. And it's not a feeling of dread or fear. It's, a, um, I don't know, I can't put my finger on it. Very nostalgic feeling. If you've ever been inside of an old home, like a 300 year old home, that feeling you get um, just being a part of, of history. Wow, that goes back in there a little ways. Yeah, that's definitely where I would sleep or up in that one right there. That's a beautiful opening. Yeah. And there's a couple of carvings like on the side of the rock that are kind of suspicious. Uh, there's like a bunch of yeah. streaks that I don't know if someone was like sharpening their knife or maybe it was a, a bear back in the day. Uh, but these these walls definitely tell a story. Yeah, I want to show you guys what Connor's referring to, if you can see it. Yeah. Right and that's there. rock. That is not mud. So it would take a, a lot of pressure and force to even do that, or it had to be yeah. in ancient times when it was. And then you see that softer. there's a bunch of marks, but that is absolutely rock. And this little area has clearly been cut out, uh, but I, I love it. It's like a little drink holder. Oh yes, yeah, it's, it's square. I mean, it's almost got a perfect square. That is so neat. And oh. there's a, a, a hook right here. Oh, a railroad spike. Wow. I wonder if that was... Um... It's definitely been there a long time. A lot of the caves, they would put white plates up in the top and then the lantern light would reflect off it and yeah, uh, create a brighter light. There's a spike right there. Yeah, right yeah. here. I'm going to take a peek inside this other little offshoot. Mm -hmm. This is nice. You know, there's a lot of a lot of our family here on the channel. Don't uh, they don't get to get to places like this? And this is my first time. Just so thankful that Connor agreed to meet up with me and to show show it to me. Well, that goes back. I can see about 25 to 30 feet back. I don't know how much further it goes. But if you look at the side right here on the left side, it's got like a, let me get that glare out of the screen. It's got like a glistening. It almost looks like quartz, but I, I don't think we have quartz here. Oh, you can see it all over the roof right here too. Do you see that glistening? Yes, I what do. I, I've definitely seen that in the past. I, I honestly think it's water. Uh, because this area definitely has condensation. Last time I was here last week on uh, Tristan's birthday, this oh, it, whole yeah. area was filled with water and there was actually a huge splash and it was bigger than a frog or anything. We uh, we thought it was a fairy. Wow. So we're definitely definitely surrounded by some labyrinths of caves down here. This is not oh, yeah. the only that is. Crevice. Oh man, that's cold. Yeah, if we were thirsty. Yeah. That's cold water. I'm going to get me some of that. Ah. <laughs> it is so hot out here, guys. Uh, I mean, it is like horrendous the heat if you stay out of the sun it's nice it's probably 85 but as soon as you step out into that sun holy mackerel it is hot make sure there's no bats up here look at that it is so clear I wonder if that's a spring that there's a, an old seeper you know it would definitely make sense because a couple other caves here uh, they're pretty much fully uh, filled with water. And uh, I was just telling Donnie earlier, oh, man, that's nice. last time I came with my mom, there was tons of rain, and this whole cave was underwater. So it drains out very well uh, into the aquifer. Yeah, it definitely drains. Man, that water feels nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've been taking it right off this wall and putting it all over my face. Oh yeah, oh, it's everywhere right oh, there. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it's cool. Um, that water's probably 65 to 70 degrees. It feels so nice down here compared to out wow, there. Oh man, that feels sun. good. You ain't kidding. It is so hot today. But guys, um, Connor's tall. I, I know y'all haven't met him in person. He's about 6'2", and you could put another Connor on top of his shoulders right there. That roof is, um, it's high. Yeah, I'd say 15, 15 feet. Yeah, at least. It's got to be right there, especially in that higher spot here. Yeah. So pretty. And, and this is, um, I believe all of this is limestone. Is that right, Connor? I think so, yes. I'm going to find a small one that's kind of 
Fleer? And a lot of people do, you know, fall under that misconception that there aren't any caves in Florida and that it's all flat. But I encourage everybody to go to the Panhandle. And even in Central Florida, there is, there are some caverns. But over here in the Panhandle, there is huge valleys and cliffs. And uh, not far from here is the Garden of Eden Trail, where yeah. 27 out of 28 trees in the Bible are. And plus, the good book describes a delta that breaks into four rivers with valley, luscious valleys and jungles. And go over there in Bristol, right by Torreya State Park, and the convergence right of ley lines, you will feel it. These are sacred grounds, 100%. And yeah, I think there's can, many adaptations. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely feel it. And uh, I recently went to Taria, and um, a lot of you joined us for that walk. In that area, uh, there is something in the atmosphere. Um, it is such a, it's just a magical place. I love how that made like a little bit of a table and a chair, and then even that. Of course, these are just most likely campers and other hikers, but it's cool to see yeah. their respectful uh, formations. And someone gathered some metal right here and uh, must have cleaned up the place. And some of these. Yeah, there's not much. Well, there's a little piece of trash right there, but yeah, I'm gonna pick other that than that, it's, um, it's actually clean. I, I would expect it to be loaded, you know, with garbage from these children and immature people that just don't have any respect for the beauty that nature offers us. This area is amazing. Man, thank you greatly for bringing me in here. No problem, oh, it's wow. my pleasure. Wow. I, this has been a bucket list spot for me as well. And then Hurricane Michael hit and this whole park was ripped around, ripped apart. And uh, they actually closed the gate for a very long time. So I wasn't able to go for like two years. And wow. I was thinking of alternatives that I was gonna take a kayak to the river and just try to trek up and find my own way. But thank God that it opened up and it's the least we could do is donate a couple bucks to keep a place like this open because this, this should be in museums. This is paradise. Like I, I want to show all my friends and family this because yeah. it's more than appearance. It's feeling. You can feel it in your chest that yeah, you can this definitely is sacred. Feel the, that history to it. You can absolutely feel it. I mean this, uh, it's just an amazing area and I, I don't know how to put it into words where you guys could really get it. But this area is just, it's amazing. You can look around and, or at least I can. I've got kind of got a messed up imagination. <laughs> but I, I can look around and uh, visualize Native Americans, you know, sitting in here with a small fire and trying to stay warm during the winter months. And the river's right there. It, I mean, just over this hill, 50 yards, uh, you're swimming. So you have access to drinking water. You have access to... To food, a lot of game. The wildlife is abundant here, no doubt. A lot of good fishing. And uh, this is the Chipola River, for those who don't know, who are just jumping in on this uh, video. And it is an amazing area. Uh, this area is protected. And so to get in, uh, there is a, they have a box where you, you donate and it, that money goes to the preservation of all of this. Let's show the people what this entrance uh, looks like. That's what's amazing. No matter which way you approach it from, you find greatness. And yeah, just, this is awesome. And just think, that, that energy of you seeing that opening of the cave, think about in the old days when this, this, you found new shelter. This is where we would be moving in 100%. Oh yeah, oh, this is so awesome, I love it. The old railroad used to come right by here too. And I just think about all the people that rode by and had no clue of the natural phenomenon. Oh, yeah. It was just right here. Like this is Look up there with Niagara Falls. Like it is amazing. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, just the size of it alone to have an area that large that you could put a hundred people in there very easily and have plenty of moving room, but yet someone 10 feet above you, 15 feet above you, you'd never know you were there. It's really eye-opening to think what lurks below our feet because right here in Jackson County, yeah. there is tons of caverns that go underneath the courthouse and into the Florida caverns. And then they say that goes into the aquifer. And the aquifer is mentioned in all the scariest films and about Godzilla and Middle Earth. So right below our feet 
is caverns. And if 100 people could fit in that little back room, then imagine what could fit beneath our feet. Yeah. That's truly, truly can, remarkable. You can see how, how the ground's raised up right here. Uh, we don't have access to get under it. The bank does go under the wall a little bit. It's, it's opened a little, but you could have a, a half inch the, um, little hole through there that could actually take you to the room the size of a Greyhound bus. And there are a couple other caves here that hopefully we'll be able to uh, check out and get in. But this is my favorite and it's truly magical. And we uh, meditate down there and do hums and deep breaths and we'll return when we on our way back 100%. Uh, but just think, a hundred people doing that, the mantras, the, the power behind it, the energy. With yeah, that vibration. Uh, yeah, it would bring wow. the forest alive. Look at that. In the region would uh, be attracted to it. We're 20 feet from the mouth of that cave, and it's almost uh, vanished. You know, a few feet to the side, and you never know that was there. That is absolutely amazing. I'd give anything to have that in my backyard. Yes. I'd have to do a... An overhead screened in room <laughs> guys that there is a um, I just happened to see it that's a cow ant it is a type of hornet or wasp he's right inside here I'm gonna show him to you when he comes out um, get, him, get him moving on our last adventure in the green swamp a lady stepped on a a hornet's nest and uh, she was stung more than 30 times and had to be rushed out of there oh geez and uh that's horrible i don't like killing much more. it was right around some other strange phenomenon when we uh recorded a weird baby cry mimic and then uh some loud owl hoots too and of course it could just be an accident stepping on the underground nest but we think everything was connected in this next yeah absolutely events. well we'll find another one i think that and went underground um probably got a little miniature cave there yeah, the, the baby cries that uh, Connor's talking about, I have witnessed that firsthand uh, probably a dozen times. And most of it was at uh, the old house where I was living when I got hurt, and I ended up losing that property. I wasn't able to work, and they took it from me for a balance of $2,400. And so I gave it to my sister. Her and her husband paid off. That remain in balance and uh they helped me to where i could find another place it, it was just it was meant to be but that property the baby screams is the most eerie and spooky thing you'll ever hear because it is identical to an infant screaming in pain yep. it is horrible we're gonna mosey up here a little further and uh then we'll show you where where we're at there's a big chunk of limestone somebody popped up and there's the river beautiful river there's a cool fossil did you find one yeah. yeah connor just spotted a fossil they're all over this area oh yeah get my screen on very cool just a little shell yeah, my favorite beautiful. ones are the snails you know the ones that kind of twist up and roll up oh yeah finding yeah. fossilized snails it's like one of my favorite things yeah rosie found a good one and I got one with half a fish, the the rear end half. Wow. All right, guys, I'm gonna put the camera away for right at the moment. It's so hot out here, it's absolutely going to overheat if I keep it running. But we'll be right back to you in a second. This is no um, fish camp, I believe. Yeah, they say there's a couple of Boy Scout uh, camps, and I think this is one of them, and then there's one that's deep in the woods. Uh, but sadly, some Kabbalists have came in here and, uh, oh, yeah, the... you know, defaced it. But I'm glad they have put the orange uh, over it, but it just shows all the black is fresh because they covered it all up, and then they, they redo yes. it with the black. So it's really sad to see people defacing, you know, even History. ruins like this. It's, it's sad. Yeah, this is it's awesome. Look at the old timbers they use for the for that floor. Man, that's pretty. Would love to spend the night here, just one night, you know, just set up the yeah, little camp. There's the river right there. I mean, right behind uh, this tall tree. It's right on the bank of the river. 
Yeah, this cool plywood ceiling. And you can see the electricity. Uh, this was added after the fact. This was a real old cabin or home. And then later down the road, they came in and updated it. And uh, uh, Connor's believing it was for the Boy Scouts, which they do a lot of that in Florida. Wow. And it is warm. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is incredibly hot. This is so cool. Backyard. There's been a lot of laughs yeah. and experiences in here. You can, you can just imagine it here too. Not as strong a feeling, you know, because it is more recent times, but definitely good, good times. And there's a nice little lizard right there. Yeah, he's still alive he's gonna too. Go in there, give him some of them hornets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can have them, buddy. We'll leave you to it. Hundred <laughs> percent. See you later, Geico. Geico. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, isn't that cool? Yeah, oh, it's hot. I'm gonna walk in the shade right here. Yeah. Guys, it is like ridiculously hot. This heat is is battering. <sighs> then we got the river right here. It just kind of circles around and it goes back to the left, back that way. I found a meteorite uh, a few months ago around this area, and they say oh, wow. that uh, meteorites have 15 miles of range, so you can find one within 15 miles of anywhere. And uh, my buddy, he's a Native American guy that uh, works at a gas station, he, know, he knows the stuff, talks to a lot of people. Uh, he said that the type of meteorite I found is worth like 2,500 per gram, so I weighed it, wow. exactly seven grams. What, what's the what's wow. the chances and the odds of it being a, a quarter of an ounce, like perfectly round the dot, lucky magic that's seven? That's awesome. Yep, absolutely. And three sevens. Yep. Yes, indeed. This is really hard too, and you can see the hole. Well, not right over here, but you can see holes that the the ants and the uh, other insects dig through, and that's just so impressive. This is yeah, almost like, as hard as rock. Yeah, it's like concrete. It's like, it almost hurts your feet it standing does. on it, the heel. And you won't find a, a footprint on that unless it's been rained on pretty heavily. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll be back with you here in just a few. Hey, guys, uh, we're not on the river. Um, me and Connor, it got so hot, we had to leave. Um, I don't know what the actual temperature was. I assume a heat index of, a, of around 115 to 120. It was uh, ridiculously hot. So we left, we come up to McCoy's. It is a service station. They sell a little bit of goodies, snacks, and um, sporting gear, fishing and hunting and firearms is kind of an all-around store it's uh, sort of the heart of mariana we went over there and relaxed got some water and some gatorade and uh, just had a good sit down for a little bit to get cooled down and get refreshed and brother connor brought me to this spot we're at now i've seen it passing by but i've never been to it and so we're gonna uh, i'm gonna get the camera turned around so you guys can see where we're at it's a very tall place i mean it is it goes up there but i'm gonna let connor explain to you the um the details on it so give me just a minute and we'll get this situated yes hey y'all it's connor from bigfoot anonymous i've had such a remarkable day we hiked right by the chipola river and found a cavern and some fossils and we heard strange sounds trailing us and following us from across the river but it was pretty a uh, smooth day but sadly the heat index has been tearing us up uh, yes, we just got a couple has. drinks at McCoy's and had some good conversations with people and uh, I, you could literally see it from across the street these giant silos and these are clearly grain silos but they're nicknamed the nuke silos and it's actually just got turned into a polka stop so people come here to get supplies and uh, I've seen people take pictures here for homecoming and their yearbook and stuff like that. Madison Rutherford is the artist that did most of the paintings and murals here. It's truly remarkable. Someone lost their shoe right there. <laughs> sure did. <laughs> but yes, I am from Ohio, guys, and I take this one 
as a sign wow. of where I'm supposed to be. Charlie Brown is Ohio's mascot, so of course, so is Snoopy. And you combine with the Halloween vibes, it is That's truly awesome. magical. I love it. And wow. then you got the scary pumpkin as well. Right here, though, what I amazing. have mixed feelings. Dark. If anybody remembers seeing my videos, this used to be Michael Myers, and it was amazing. But Sean Smith, he had the paint over it, and I, I have mixed feelings about that. There's a lot of area that he could have done his work, but it has been documented. I'm very glad it exists. Right over there, we won't go too far, but it says Happy Halloween, and then there's an abandoned building that we've actually snuck into a few times um, wow. over there. But there is a lot of ruckus in these forests, so I'd rather be safe and sorry. We don't want to step upon the wrong people. But uh, yeah, actually right down here goes into a basement a little bit, so you have to be a little careful. We'll just open up this door real quick. We are definitely not going inside. Oh, there's a little birdie. Hey buddy, we're not gonna bother you. I got a pigeon right there. But uh, you can stick the camera up all the way. Wow. And you can take this ladder right here and walk all the way to the top. Jeez. And I just don't trust the, the equipment and I will not be doing that because that is a hard fall to the floor. Okay. But I have seen people up top there, so it wow. is possible. Imagine what's up there. Guys, that is so far up. I mean, you don't realize. Hundreds of feet, 150 feet. Yeah, I'd that say. is way up. There is no way. And there's a lot of crazy graffiti. Uh, some of it is disrespectful, but there is like, even this. This looks like just the blur, but it comes alive at night, and I, I've seen faces. But uh, around the front side is some of my favorites. And I was actually just on the front page of the newspaper back home in Ohio. And one of the pictures they used was from right here in the Mariana nuke silo. So it's so crazy of the world's colliding. But uh, yeah, you can step inside and it smells kind of bad. And you can see the birds, but there's cool graffiti of mermaids and monsters inside here. And then you can see the birds and the activity up there. But definitely uh, watch your head. Yeah, I can hear the bats. But some of this is really so cool. This green guy it really speaks to me. And then the mermaids. Oh, and yeah. Man, it's, just, it's truly remarkable. Guys, if there's any profanity show up, I do apologize. I'm not going to stay focused on uh, the wall just in case there's something there that I don't, or, or something that I missed. And so I'm going to just kind of go by briefly where you guys can see what's on it. I don't see any profanity yet, but I'm sure we're going to come across it. And this is amazing. Some of this artwork is really first class. Wow, hearing your voice from right there, it was pretty normal. And once you got right there, it got about four or five times louder. I literally had to wow. look up and down and see if there was a speaker. That was, that was crazy itself. And that just shows the power of these silos. We have to look at the landscape of Earth and see what the Creator created. Think about His creations, His natural creations, the mountains. There is a giant electric grid on this Earth. And sometimes we can tap into it. Absolutely. I love this painting right here, the Charles. That's good that work. Right wow. There. That is wow. That is definitely far better than anything that I could do. And this is hers. It says Mads. So Madison Rutherford. Thank you for the wow. artwork. It's been truly inspirational. Look how how crisp the lines are in that. Her father and her uh, raised money through like a Kickstarter and a GoFundMe. So some of this was funded by the city, which is super cool. Like you can stick your camera in here and see some of the paint cans and of course people climb into Oh there. yeah. Yeah, there's your stuff. Wow. Let's see if we can see what's up. Yeah, it's dark up there. Got a faint little spot. This is really spooky <laughs> in this one. It definitely is. Time too, when all the creepy wow. crawlers are out. And it looks like you could possibly go back and go around these big tanks. Wow, incredible. And then guys, look at this. Friday the wow. 13th, Jason Voorhees. And yeah, this is where I took the picture for the newspaper. But this is so cool. 
and it was the it was the holy trinity it had michael myers jason and then freddy krueger is a little bit back there and the freddy is cool because it's not the robert england freddy it's its own type of adaptation you gotta watch your step with this i can't tell if this is feces or what no uh, i have no idea so feces or maybe a uh, rotted grain yeah they're you can hear the bats. There are a lot of them in here. That's the faint little chirps. If you guys can hear it on camera, that's the bats. There's one. There are pigeons up there also. Look at all the bats. Wow. That is awesome. That reminds me of Batman Begins. Look at them spinning circles. I wish I could zoom this one in. That would be awesome. Yeah. There are a lot of bats. I know you guys aren't going to be able to see it. We are filming with a GoPro. That is so far up. Ooh. Wow. A little hard on the neck. Yeah, that's uh, that's the bat feces. Um, I forget what, what they call that. There's actually a name for it. That would be good for gardening. We should take a shovel over here and bring it bring oh. it home to mom. I almost got hit with some just now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love these ones too. These are just more of the scary pumpkin heads. My mom used to nickname me pumpkin head because of the movie, but it was a term of endearment. <laughs> so whenever I see pumpkin heads, it is close to my heart. But gosh, what this about work is this amazing. Wow. Freddy Krueger. Beware of your dreams, guys. The five fingers of Freddy will find you. It's so cool, and it's not the Robert England style. It's it's its own adaptation, and I appreciate that more than anything. Uh, just it's, because that you know, almost to... looks alive. Um, to be such a large painting, it looks like a, a living photograph. That is amazing. She That's did an incredible talent. job. Yeah, she That's... she's awesome. I, I highly suggest everybody look her up on Instagram. Uh, she's incredible at painting, drawing, and just being a creative artist. And coming from Jackson County, come on, there's not much going on here. Absolutely. So this this is this is special. And what was her name again? Madison Rutherford. Madison Rutherford. Yeah, we'll have to definitely check her out. I love art. I love good art. Yeah. That gal can paint. You can see all the peanuts right here, which oh, is awesome. Yeah. God, them have been here forever. Yeah. There's a lot of, all them pieces, that tar, that's from the roof. Hurricane Michael really uh, whacked Mariana. It was in the direct path of the eye. This one, I love the third eye cat right there. Kittens have, and kittens and full grown cat, they have a special type of quartz in their pineal gland. So when they purr, that, that crystal gets spreaded out through vibrations. And that's why their purrs can cure illness and fix, heal, and heal bones. And there's a reason why the Egyptians worship these creatures, of course. I'd love to see some snakes, not you know, firsthand, but I'd love for some snakes to really live in here. They would be up with pride. I'm sure there's oh, something yeah. under that tin right there. <laughs> Magic yeah. eight ball, Martha's 18, that's pretty funny. Yeah, I'm gonna try to skip that. There's a little profanity there. Yeah. What we got here? This really, I'm gonna try to get that little eight ball without getting on the foul stuff. You yeah, some people, some people just don't have any creativity, so they just jump straight to hate speech and just low vibrations. We have to rise above that, and places like this, come on guys, keep the vibes high and cherish it. And that's, that's what we're trying to do, and that's what the message we're trying to spread. Because, yes. like I said, people just are confused in this world, and they just lash out. Yep, absolutely. I'm not sure what that says. Gilly, maybe, but that, that's truly cool, man. Just all the different colors here, it really brings it alive. Like, these are some bare silos that could stand here for another hundred years, and at least it has some kind of life to it. Oh, and I appreciate and that. They remain standing from Hurricane Michael, and there are block and brick homes that were leveled from it. It's got yeah. all the vines growing on that one side right there, that's beautiful. 
my trailer was ripped wow. apart by Hurricane Michael. I'm very thankful that it's still standing and our roof still exists, but all my windows were broken, the outside skirting was gone, and uh, luckily I was able to uh, run to my mom's house about half a mile away, and uh, it was it was crazy. She lost all our fruit trees, and that, that was the worst part for me is watching my family uh, have to suffer and lose their stability. Uh, just because me, I, I lived on my car, I could go with the flow. But my sister, she's had a, a hard past and she had a job and then it got ripped from her. Then my mom, she moved from Ohio after lots of hardships and then she had her dream yard with a pond and fruit trees. And then two years later, it's ripped to shreds right in front of her. And it, it, was, it was horrible because no one expects a monster storm like that. And then it superpowers overnight and you have nowhere to go and uh it's it's really scary and i consider myself a pretty durable person and i had horrible trouble sleeping nights after that and now during hurricane season you can't run and you can't hide from it but you have to be ready yeah. for it and i surely am yeah be be prepared not scared 100 yeah. percent. but this Absolutely. is the nuke silos and we've had such a magical day that i know it's the beginning of something special already and uh if anybody hasn't seen me and donnie sit downs the past few days we were on gypsy road uh earlier in the week and then i was on standing goats rescue with donnie uh talking about going down the rabbit hole and i hope all you guys saw that but if not definitely check it out and we have tons of adventures in our future and Absolutely. just knowledge we want to share because awareness is pretty much everything and the news is failing people it's about the community and we have to speak out we have to stand up for the truth and just awareness that's out here it's much deeper than Bigfoot and ghosts there is tons of darkness that's sweeping over this world country and universe so we have to grasp it before it's too late yeah if we're a part of it we're going to be consumed in it 100 percent. we definitely don't need that you know uplift one another and just keep that love and that positive vibe going 100 percent. and that spiritual support is it's big it's more it's powerful than away. anything yeah when you have the creator Absolutely. on your side and your electricity you're as big as as the silos when you're scared and you deny your creator you're you're a marble good luck yeah. rolling down the hill man you're gonna end up in a gutter you're gonna end up in the in the drain so we have to grasp grasp it before it's too late because these times are not just black and white guys we have to soak through and see it all for what it is Yep, absolutely. And uh, this right here, where we're at, this is Mariana, Florida. For you, you all that are um, that didn't hear it in the beginning, um, this area, Mariana, is where I had my encounter at, my bad encounter. There have been a lot of people who have also had encounters in Mariana. It is a very active area as far as the big guys are concerned. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but right back here, there's a. a the radio antenna and it's twisted off um, right just above the trees a little bit that's one of them really tall antennas that have the red blinking lights on top mm -hmm. and it's probably about 70 foot right now i think they go up to 200 and uh 300 feet that they do those but that was from hurricane michael there's a couple other areas right up there, there like uh, St. Andrew's Church. It's on a couple websites of abandoned places to check out. Uh, it was abandoned long before the storm, but it got so much damage, and that's definitely a nice photogenic spot. But right here, guys, there are cabins below our feet. Over where we were just at on 73 by the river, there's entrances to caves that people have gotten all the way where that tower is, where the courthouse is. So underneath all of our feet right here is a labyrinth of caves yeah. that go down to the aquifer. And you know, Godzilla and all these other movies, they're announcing the aquifer in this year. So I think the Titans are rising and we have to keep our eyes peeled because there is a lot going on on the surface, but there's even more below our feet. We live in skyscrapers and basements. Guess what? There is miles of existence below our feet, miles. Absolutely. So whatever we have going on up here, times it by infinity. And then you might have something about Middle Earth or just aquifer and all the other stuff that has swept under the rug. Yeah, absolutely. I'm definitely in agreement with that. And there's, uh, there are spots in the Bible that speak of, you know, the the bottomless pit. You know, casting certain beings down into the bottomless pit. They're not throwing them up into them. They're throwing them down into the pit. Um, can we, are, is it able? Are we able to get over to see that uh, that yeah. building over there? Yeah, yeah. I don't know how far we can guys, get inside. Guys, this is it, but um, definitely. 
Yeah, absolutely. This is my first time being here too, and I'm just I'm grateful that Connor brought me over here. I love showing people this spot, guys, because I actually found this footage on Charlie Reef's drone footage, and I saw the Michael Myers, and I was like, I have to come here. And then uh, yeah. before I was going to Falling Waters, right by uh, your neck of the woods, I made a video and I actually put it on TikTok, and it went like mini viral. It got a thousand likes and like six. 6,500 plays. Uh, so it was very cool that this place got a little bit of awareness. Uh, but yeah, there's a really cool Happy Halloween sign over here. And then if you keep around, you can uh, get in the hot. I found up here a few times and it's kind of scary. There's like water right here and then there's certain yeah. death right here. But you know me, I'm the trapezoid <laughs> king. Uh, I'm sure there's some look. crazy stuff down there too. You guys will see where Connor's at. <laughs> All right, you see how far down that is? That's the same depth, but that's full of <laughs> slime. There's no telling. There's probably some critters that fell in that and it didn't didn't fare out so well. Yeah, the giant sewer alligator you know I mean? might be down there and just grab me from yeah. above. But, but honestly, what I'm most worried about right here is drowning because yeah. you couldn't get out. That's why they have those logs right there, so you'd be able to. Uh, per perch your body up. Oh, yeah. yeah clearly, people stay back here and there's homeless camps. Uh, but yeah, yeah we, it's, it's nerve wracking. We, we, we seen uh, when we got here, we was first setting up right over here. There was a homeless guy, that, he's right here in the in the bushes. So, we're gonna keep that down a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna let me see. We cross through right there. Is that how we get back, back here? Oh, uh, no, we'll go right around. Oh, there. okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's a long drop, guys. Um, you fall you off the to, top of that I, I rail. I can take the camera and show uh, show people a little over there. Yeah, yeah, and just touch the screen there, and it'll bring it back up. Awesome. Hopefully, I don't lose my balance. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> just gotta focus. Very cool. Very cool stuff over here. It's deep, as you can see. But man, if you actually took some time, you could set up a real cool clubhouse over here. But yeah, you could sneak and jump through there. So this was the base to a building, right? It looks like it. It seems like it. Wow. Look at the huge pipes coming in. I wonder if it was some type of processing area. You know, they had water coming in here or, or some type of, of chemical. And again, it could have been from the... The grain silos, for yeah, sure. Maybe it's for a washout, a way to, to flush them. I don't know. It's wild. They got bricks stacked here where people have been going down in there. Yeah, there's no telling what they've been doing down there. I ain't going down there. Yeah. Get down there and get a, a used syringe. Something metal has got me right here. Yeah, there you go. That could have been bad. That just shows oh, yeah. that. A little bit of tetanus could come out of anywhere. And you know what, there's some more right there too. Jeez, another piece. Now I know to be safe. I love all these bats right here. Look at that, that's cool. so cool. She did a great job with this. This Halloween spectacular. It is, that is amazing. Happy Halloween, guys. It's Halloween and October forever, all the time with me. <laughs> the, the last music album I actually dropped I recorded right after Hurricane Michael and it's called October Forever and it has 10 songs and it's 31 minutes long. That's wow. what I'm about. That's cool. October 31st, 31 yeah. minutes. I recorded a lot of it. I would uh, take my laptop to my mom's house and charge it oh, wow. on her generator uh, during the storm and then I'd have two hours worth of power. So I'd watch a movie and record a song and that really got me through the storm. But we didn't have power for 29 days. Heck yeah. And there's uh, this old place. It's, it's gone. It's definitely gone. But it's crazy to see these these ancient um, ruins. You know, they, these are from people. And this old building right here, it's part of a... Um, they used the front half as a, um, a flea market. I don't think it will be safe to jump down or smart to jump down, but we could definitely no, stick uh, the camera in there. But yes, people get onto this that, building as well. That big briar right there on your leg. Oh yeah, I didn't even see the spikes. Oh, that thing. 
I love how the glass breaks right here. That's a beautiful design. That is awesome. Look at this. They got the old, um, the old tracks with the old steps are still there. That's yeah. awesome. This building's really old. I don't know the date of it. You guys can see the that textured brick they got up there. I think it's yeah, they can sit better right there. Hurricane Michael uh, destroyed what wasn't already torn up on this building, but they still have a running flea market on the front half of it. Yeah, it's really cool how they do that. I, I'm guessing they keep a lot of it out of the rain and then just keep the, keep the disposable stuff. They're really, in the really open neat. Area. But yeah, this whole basement sunk in. And, man, and there's a bunch of bird feathers right here as well. It's like a cat or something's been eating. Circle of life. Oh, wow, that's a heavy duty window. Steel window frame. It is just crazy to me that people are brave enough or stupid enough to actually climb up to the top of this thing. Yeah, I, th I think it's the second part of what you said. Yeah. To, you'd have to be stupid to go up there. One of the last times we came here, there was someone up there, and then they just wow. came down. And they're like, people at McCoy's saw us. And then we heard sirens, and uh, so we got <laughs> out of here because we didn't want to be the ones blamed to do that. You know, if we if I didn't climb oh, yeah. it, I'm not going going down for it. Yeah, I wonder, now is this a basement right here? It seems like it opens up a little bit. Looks like the brick's about to fall. I wonder if I can stick the camera down. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get it down there. That'd be cool. Where you guys can see. Alright, I'm going to rotate the camera. Hopefully it will remain. Let's see. Are we upright? Yes, I think. Nope. Sorry guys. I had y'all upside down. I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna start it right back up. Stand by. All right, I had to rotate the camera. I just want to stick it down in the hole. Maybe you guys can see what's in there because we can't see anything from here. Could be an entrance way down to the caverns below. Very possible. I wonder if I can get it in over here somewhere. Here it kind of opens up a little bit. Yeah, that's a little better. We just, Connor and I both are curious as to what's in here. Let's see. Uh, okay, hold on. It's going to be a little noisy. I've just got to make some little tweaks on the camera there if we can get it in. There we go. Yeah. That'd be something if something just yanked it from you. Yeah. Hopefully they, hopefully <laughs> Hope they email us uh, the files at least. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> that would be freaky. Yes, that's a, uh, looks like a pan right there. It's still pan. Where you can't really uh, see nothing. Can't see around it. Wish there were another opening. I don't know what's down there. They they definitely got it. It's tack welded all around the edges here, so that it can't be opened. There's the homeless guy behind Connor. Oh, I don't need to walk on that. Yeah. Oh, this whole thing right here we'll is cracked. <laughs> Yep, absolutely. That crazy place, definitely. Yes. I don't know what all that stuff out there says. Yeah, I see her name though, Madge Rutherford. So maybe she was just testing paint or something at this area, um, or maybe mm -hmm. font styles. 
but also the red uh, assigned one phase. So maybe, maybe it was a group yeah. of people. Maybe Rhett Madison had her friends here too. Oh yeah, very possible. This guy right here. I mean, look look how clean the lines are. He, I wonder if he drew that out first. I'm gonna have to have a talk with him though, because that Michael Myers mural was so important. And this is awesome. Poetry is dead. Grim Reaper. I love it. But come on, man. Unless someone uh, complained about the Michael Myers one. Possible. I don't know if the Grim Reaper is <laughs> much, much more p politically correct, but... <laughs> yeah. It looks like there was a heart right here someone painted over. Hmm. Oh, oh, I see. I guess it was her when she when she done this, this background for Snoopy. You know, that would have stood out too color, much. Yeah, yeah. This is the other end of where the ladder was. Um, see if you guys can see anything in there. Shaking. Sorry about all the noise. I'm banging the camera around. Shaking too bad. That. We're both dehydrated and fighting the yeah. sun of all day and delirious at this point. Yeah, but that's, what, that's what it's about, pushing uh, your body to the limit, to safe limits. And I'm, I'm very thankful uh, Donnie said something because I probably would have went a little harder. And I, I feel a migraine uh, coming up right now, uh, but it would have ate me alive out there. And we probably would not have even made it to the nuke silos. I'm, I would have been lucky if I could have got home. But this is truly a remarkable spot. It's a nice little secret stash area right in the center of Mariana. So many people don't even know about this spot. Yes. And uh, I just try to keep raising awareness. And uh, if you play Pokemon, come here virtually, guys. <laughs> That's right. And just to give you a brief perspective of where we are at for those that live in Mariana, if you don't know about this. All right, right on the other side of this old foundation in the trees, you can see the power lines. McCoy's Sport sporting goods uh, store and gas station is right there on the highway it's on the opposite side of the highway of where we are at uh, I believe we are uh, uh, northeast I think of McCoy's but it's if you stand in McCoy's and look out across the street from their front door you're looking at this this huge set of silos there's what is it five of them wow yeah i think so one two three four five and then there's a couple middle section rooms too just think about the square footage that's up there and yeah there's a two-story building right there on the top of it a metal building hurricane michael kind of done a beating on it <laughs> imagine that you know all the metal being thrown from 200 feet up you know where did it where did it end up probably on the hillside over there yeah, probably there's... at the graveyard in the center of town Yep, and that, uh, that graveyard um, in the center of Mariana is a very old graveyard. That is where um, I ended up receiving the demonic attachment that led to a possession that was in Mariana graveyard. Wow. Um, I've been in there multiple times. Yeah. Definitely felt strange things, but I didn't know. Very, very creepy area, and you can absolutely feel a presence. You know, when you're in there, you can feel stuff moving around you, and it's not... It's not a pleasant feeling. Um, there's graves that go uh, way back, uh, late 17, uh, I think seven, 1700s. Or eight. I know they're late 18 and mid 1800s, but I'm thinking there were a couple that were uh, in the 1790s. I'd have to check. I'm not going back in there, but yeah. I have to check you can, the history. You can check on the yeah. website now. Yeah, you could locate a grave. <laughs> But that's that's wild. I know Sim Cemetery uh, right on 71 uh, has a bunch of unmarked graves and I've been in there uh, looking for a couple of my friends family members and uh, if you put your brights on at a certain angle you see these green orbs and uh, it's a natural phenomenon wow. that everybody talks about around here. And another cool story is uh, the road behind uh, Auto zone back there, there was a car accident, and there's this fence that if you flick your brights three times, that this ghost will fly at you. And I actually did it uh, the, the other night behind the movie, uh, I think it was Friday, last Friday, and I, and I did it on the third one, 
I heard this weird noise and I have it recorded, but then this car comes flying to my left and I thought it was a police officer. So I, cause I was half on the road and half in the ditch. You oh know? yeah. And uh, so much went through my head. I was going to tell him I saw a deer and was trying to see it or something, <laughs> but uh, it was just weird timing and that light came and it wasn't a cop, but it was just like, it, it was thrilling and crazy timing. And I don't believe in coincidence. So yeah, it, it was, it was wild. Yeah, everything's part of a, of a grander scheme. 100%. Everything is. It's all written out. It's all it's all been written out. Yep, absolutely, absolutely has. While we're here at my car, I might as well get some. Uh, yeah, got, guys, uh, make sure if you've got to go in a hurry, make sure you watch this part of the video, if any part. Um, and um, let me get a little closer. I got you in frame. Got your book. Yes, right. this is one of. This is one of my books, guys. This one is Monsters and Mysteries Around the Corner. This is actually a third one of the series, and this tells people how we don't have to watch scary movies and read graphic novels. The scary stuff will find you. My first book is Eerie Swamp's Road Trip to Eden. Uh, that's kind of like a diary. And then Big Brother Bigfoot is like my research project. And my fourth book is coming out next month, Panhandle Pirates. And actually, right where we hike today uh, is in one of my chapters. So I'm definitely going to add in uh, some of my stuff with Donnie today. And uh, because he's a panhandle pirate himself we're pioneers out here but yes guys they're available on amazon i know a lot of people say i talk too fast so you could read this at any pace check it out guys yep and i will post the links uh to where you can find connor's books i will have them in the description to this video i may even put them in the video um i'll try depending on um <laughs> here's, a, here's my other one it. though this one's big brother bigfoot and uh, I took this picture at the Ochizi Landing in 2017 with my mom. And this isn't my book, but this is my buddy Stephen O. Pry. And uh, I just did a video on this, but he is from this town too. And right on the same street we were just on, this house takes place. And I just did a video on it and explored it. Uh, it's right by a bridge that I actually uh, woke up a homeless man. And like, it was one of the scariest moments in my life. So this whole area is filled with weird phenomenon and strange beings. Yeah. So just existing over here, you have to adapt. And down here in Florida, guys, we all know the skunk ape exists. So roll with that and run as fast as you can towards the truth 100%. absolutely absolutely well guys we're gonna uh we're gonna wrap it up i've got rain between me and my house uh where i'm at right now and i'm on the two-wheeler today and so we're gonna close this out uh both of us are exhausted and tired and i'm just uh i want to thank our brother connor for inviting me and, and having me today and showing me all these places that has this has been a phenomenal day for me um, we absolutely enjoyed it. It was a little too hot, but the weather's going to be cooling down uh, in just a couple of months. And when it starts cooling down, we get some nicer days. Not cold, but where it's like it is right now. Uh, I think we're in the mid-80s. Then we're going to be going out and checking out some of these other places. And um, I'll be doing a lot of videos with Connor. I have him in him, and um, we'll be sharing every bit of that with you here. Yes. But, Thank you so much for joining us and being a part of the video with us. God bless you all. We love you. We'll absolutely be seeing you soon. And until that time, always be safe. Take it easy, guys.